This is the entrance to Pintadas, a small town in Bahia. This is the Sertal, a land where water is scarce, but also a land where hopes are high and the joys of life are cultivated by the people that live here. A land where men and women farm to survive, working to provide a dignified life for their families that is so closely tied to the land and the sky. A place of many uncertainties, but a place of people with gumption. This is a fragile ecosystem where it is necessary to responsibly manage local resources, above all water and soil. The people of the Sertao need help to face these challenges. Lack of rainfall is worsened by climate change in the region, a trend that augments drought conditions here. Some people living here have committed themselves to the pursuit of solutions. We'll look to some of these individuals to see what they are doing to deal with drought and climate change in the Sertao. Mazias is one of the most engaged farmers in the region. He has worked with Adaptus Sertao's network since the beginning, when we began to speak with farmers to better understand their needs and design initiatives that improve their ability to adapt to climate change. This is Mazias' property, and he is trying to find the best way to utilize it. The process has been long, but as you will see, he is doing quite well. Mazias works with cattle and also various crops, some of which are for animal feed. He cultivates Palma Fuegera, an amazing spineless variety of cactus that grows even during the worst of droughts. Mazias, as was mentioned, is one of the most innovative farmers working with Adaptus Sertao. We look to highlight his innovations and those of other farmers like him in an integrated system where the people and the environment are aligned, optimizing the allocation of scarce resources so that all are able to benefit from the results. We do not want misery in the Sertao. This is Adaptus Sertao's mission. The question is, how can someone like Mazias, who learned through experience on his small property, share these innovations? How does this information disseminate to other farmers and their children? How can practical experiences such as these find a channel of dialogue with public policies? How can we learn with Mazias? How can Mazias learn with other farmers? How can we learn alongside those that have scientific and technical knowledge? These were the questions that guided several rounds of dialogues, benefiting from local, regional, and national participants within different sectors and levels of experience. The idea was to join farmers, public authorities, and scientists with the intention of walking together to find durable solutions for the sustainable development of the Sertal. During the seven years of this project, there were rounds of dialogue with farmers, with local authorities, with community leaders. Adaptus Sertau's approach has always been to seek positive change based on the local resources available. We create linkages in order to influence public opinion and policymakers from the ground up, strengthening partnerships between local municipalities and state and federal institutions. At the heart of the process is the goal to make bottom-up policy the basis for the top of the pyramid of power and decision making. To influence policy, we know that credible data and scientific information are necessary. For over three years, Adaptus Sertao interviewed farmers, testing crops and livestock responses to new production strategies. In addition, meteorological data was analyzed to understand shifts in climate. The aforementioned information allowed for conclusions, which were presented to public policymakers in Salvador, the capital of Bahia, and Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. Average daily temperature in Pintadas rose 1.75 degrees Celsius in the last 50 years, while total annual precipitation decreased 30% over the same period. The resilience of 250,000 people living in the Jacuipi Basin is closely linked to this climate reality, which can dramatically affect the pace of economic development in the region. The conclusion is that droughts will be more frequent and severe, and that the population will need support to adapt to these new realities. There are small, dry earthen dams that dot the Sertao. 
symbols of a social policy that did not anticipate the consequences of excessive deforestation of the local biome, Kachinga, of which only 14% of the original coverage remains. From these dialogues, Adapter Sir Tao presented a number of policy recommendations, which include additional water storage in order to support family farmers during extreme droughts, efficient irrigation technology to help them consistently grow crops and feed their families and their livestock, without causing more damage to the Kachinga. Adapted Sertao bets that strong central cooperatives are the key to articulating local needs and mobilizing local resources. They act as local hubs, distributing knowledge and technology to farmers. Today, Bahia Sertao is a laboratory of creative initiatives. A belief in the ability to coexist with the effects of climate change. A new way of development. A shining light called Adapted Sertao.